Welcome back everybody to another episode of The Forest. Today we're going to talk about the newest update and play around with base number 4 a bit. So we just had update version 0.72 release and unfortunately there's not a lot of new features in this update. It's more of bug fixes and tweaks. Now they did tweak a couple of things. One of the things, which is something everybody's been asking for for a while, is now the log sleds will carry 12 logs. So, as you know, if you chop down a tree, the minimum number of logs you'll get is four. So when you chop down three trees, you end up with one log extra left over at the end. Fortunately now, the sled will carry 12 logs. So the only time you'll have extra logs, of course, is if you get a tree that drops five logs, which is possible to get, especially with some of the tall trees like this. Now, another thing that got tweaked was the building approach. You can now tweak placements for things a little bit better, they say. Uh, we're going to test that out a little bit. I don't, I, it seems like maybe it rotates a little faster, but I'm not sure about like camera angle stuff on it. I'm not seeing anything that gives me an option. Let's let's try placing it there and nope, it still does the same as normal. Well, I can't find anything in the settings about a change to the placement. So maybe it's only certain buildings will do that. Uh, but we do have other changes to it. One other change is that we've got the tweak to the volume of the walkie talkie. Now I'm not on a multiplayer, so I don't really have a way to do that. I think it's just a setting in there for your microphone. Uh, we also have a few of the buildings that were still using the old log texturing have been updated to include the new log texturing to make them look better. And of course, right now, this is not going to show that. <laughs> so we might go ahead and take a trip down to base number three in a minute, take a look at it, see what's going on there. But as far as base number four, what I've done is you can see I've added a couple catapults. I thought, you know, hey, it'd be kind of interesting. They're not really useful, but they make it look really neat uh, having these catapults up there. And right after I finished the second one, I had a whole group of cannibals come up over dead ahead of me right there, right in that little area. And of course, it was aimed over this way, so I can't shoot them with it. And so it just kind of taunted me. And then when they finally moved over here, I loaded up and fired. As you see, it hits in the water. I can't even see where it's aiming, which is why I've never really used the catapults. They just don't, they're just not a very good implementation. I mean, it's a cool little idea, but I don't see it ever actually working. Oh, look there. I can actually see where it's firing. And there it goes, dropping some rocks on the ground over there. Super useful, because by the time the rocks get over there, the cannibals or mutants probably have moved along. The update we just received, version 7.2, we were told that now they're going to make the final push for version 1.0. That it's not going to be version 7.3, 7.4, like that necessarily. That they're getting ready to push for moving on to 1.0, and doing this as a full release, they are going to add some new things for that point. But at the moment, they're just going to start pushing more towards that part instead of trying to do smaller incremental updates. So I don't think we're going to be doing an update video for this for a little while. Uh, and as I said with this, it was mostly tweaked, so I didn't feel it really had enough material to warrant a full update video. But we're going to head back down to base number three and take a look at it see if there's anything new as far as the texturing there oh and i found some buddies oh how did that not kill him how did that not kill him that's like two arrows in his shoulder when it should have been in his head all right come here come here can't see you right now oh did i get him did i get him I got him. You need my oh, hey! I killed your leader. Go away. If I kill your leader, you're supposed to run. All right, come here. Oh man, 
I'm so out of practice on fighting them hand to hand like this. I've been focusing more on just shooting them and killing them by headshots, which works great when you can actually see them. Like that, I got them. But now I have no, no armor at all. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, slide down, don't take damage, yes. Oh, he's got me. And I have, I'm hungry, I have no food with me right now. So we are back at base number three at the little crossroad, the T section here in my walkways. And I'm not noticing anything right off the bat. It is nighttime, so it's a little hard to tell, but I'm not noticing anything as far as a change in texturing just yet. Oh, uh, maybe the, uh, the roof looks a little bit more uniform now than it has in the past, maybe? Uh, the floorboards still look as crooked as ever, though. Let's go pick a fight with some cannibals now that I'm equipped and ready to go. And maybe see if we can get, like, a mutant, like an RMZ or something to come out and play with us. Because I feel like, you know, I haven't had enough combat with cannibals and mutants lately. So, this will be fun. Well, I am back at base number two now. Because I went, I left from base number three. I went along the coast for a while. Then I cut across to Goose Lake. I cut straight through the woods, you know, through the forest. And I found my way back to the plane. Went to the tip of the peninsula. Went to three different cannibal camps, including the largest one right over there. Checked at base number one. No traps sprung at base number one. No traps sprung here at base number two. My little trap, uh, happy birthday trap base. Uh, outpost in the cannibal camp over there completely no trap sprung I have not encountered a single cannibal or a single mutant since I started that trip the only ones I found were the ones on my way to base number three from base number four and I haven't found a single one since it's like when I'm trying to work on building something and I don't want to be disturbed they show up in droves. They're just constantly coming in to say hi and attack me. But when I'm actually out looking for them, when I want to fight some cannibals, some mutants, they're nowhere to be found. Now I am back at the same place where I encountered those cannibals and no one's anywhere to be found. I mean, I have gone all over this place. Maybe they're all hunting for me up in the snow biome now. Because they couldn't find me down there in the rest of the place. You know, they're like, hey, we're going to go look for him up here because we can't find him anywhere else. I, I even have the cassette player going to make noise and hope that that attracts them at this point. I see two armsies. So after no cannibals, no mutants for all of the island, I come right back here and find two armsies. And apparently they don't care for my music because it's not even attracting them until that point. Oh, I did find at one of the camps a bunch more arm uh, modern arrows. So we're just going to use those up because I don't see a problem losing arrows with these armsies. Oh, he got stuck on that log for a minute. There we go. I have, what, six arrows? Six of the modern arrows to kill him? Apparently, their guy heard his screams and is like, oh, I'll help. Oh, look, cannibal. All this, all this running around I did all over the island, every bit of it. And I come right back here again to base number three and they're right over here. All right, that was four arrows. That's five arrows. I think it was five arrows. Six arrows, okay. Hey, come back here. I still need some friends to play with. Uh, they, they're just ignoring me. They saw me kill their big, you know, mutant buddies. They're like, oh, he's too strong for us. We're just gonna, you know, take off. We'll go find reinforcements. Don't worry, guys. We'll be back. Oh, we found their straggler. They have one buddy that got left behind. And he's finally trying to catch up. Of course, I've got these stupid little markers in the way. Oh, there we go. Got him. Ah, oh, good. Nice, clean headshot right there. And yeah, I guess that's going to be it for today's episode. 
not much going on. I really don't have any new base ideas at the moment that are, you know, spread out enough to justify them. I mean, I could build some bases that are close to the others and kind of pointless other than just to build them. We're also getting close to version 1.0, so I'm hoping we could just, you know, we'll pause this for a little bit. We'll wait and see what changes with the final release, the version 1.0 release, see where it takes us. Maybe we'll get... Uh, another change to the storyline, the final, you know, sequence, something like that. And we could go and do another, you know, beat the game type run on this and maybe make it, you know, good into the season. Yeah, again, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. Also, make sure you hit subscribe and tick the notification bell if you have not done so before. You can keep up all my content during the week. Uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know if you have any suggestions for where to go next on this series right now. But thanks for watching. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I will see you in the next video.